Um, look at questions that you know you can do quickly and, and easily without too much effort. Okay, so we know disclosure is nice. Yes. Here you were lucky. You were given two questions covering disclosure. Partnership disclosure and CCs. Okay, so I'm going to do question one. Okay, it's going to take us around 36 minutes. Okay, 30 marks. Looking at and partnerships. Is it possible for us to do it the other way? What other way? Just because I want, to, I want to get my basics right. Can we start with question four and work? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter where we start. Okay, so if you want me to do okay. four, we'll do four. Okay, so yeah, partnerships, four, you're, you're a bit rusty on that one, eh? No, I'm good with those. Oh, I'm you're good, good with partnership. No, okay, yeah. this one you're a bit rusty really on. Really good. Yes. Okay, yeah, let's those, do that one then. Two. No problem. Okay, so let's let's write down question one, question two, question three, question four. Okay, great. So, ooh. Try that again. Question four. All right. So May June. Twenty nineteen. Question four. Just want to quickly copy that on all the pages. Okay. Question four is looking at shares. So, in other words, companies. Okay, this was a short question. This was out of what? Eight marks, ten minutes. Introduction to company, share issue, transactions. So, if you go to question four, all right, there we go. Look at the required. Okay, what do they want? Two things. Calculate. The number and value of the ordinary shares issued. Okay, and then you've got B. Record the capitalization issue of shares. Okay, so obviously if you've got a cap issue, it's coming from retained earnings. Okay, so giving existing shareholders more equity in the business. All right, so when you have a question like this, um, best approach is to draw what's happening. Okay, so sketch it. All right, so I've obviously got 1 May 2015. Okay, what happened on May 2015? Incorporated. Okay. Uh, you had authorized 500,000 shares. Okay, and you had 300,000 PREF shares. Okay, so that's what you've got, authorized. Authorized means what I can issue. Okay, obviously these are 9% preference shares. Okay, so 9% preference shares means there's a dividend of 9% on those shares. Okay, then they tell you the following information is extracted from financial records. Okay, so you're sitting here. Okay, what's happening there? Well, okay, ordinary shares. 300, so amount. Three hundred and five thousand. Okay, your pref shares in terms of value one hundred and thirty five thousand. Okay, retained earnings. Long-term loans, you don't need for a question like this. Bank, you don't need for a question like this. Okay, so since incorporation, S Limited recorded the following transactions with regard to the issuing of shares. Okay, so now we need to look at the progress from start to end. Uh, where's the diagram? Here. 
Okay, so what happened on the 15th of May? So that was authorized, so 15 May. Okay. Issued 10,000 ordinary. Okay, to subscribers at three rand each. Okay, so times three rand is 30,000 rand. Okay, that's the value. Okay, uh, I might need more space here. Alright, so that's the first step. That was 15 May. Okay, 30 May. What happened on 30 May? 50,000 ordinary shares. Okay, and 20,000 pref. Okay, so now we do have pref here. Okay, we've got 20,000 pref shares. Okay, issued to the public. Okay, 3 Rand 50 for ordinary. Okay, 6 Rand for the pref. Right, uh, what else? Okay, so more dates, more space. Okay, what's next? 30 April. Okay, let me put in the year as well, because I see that might make a difference. Okay, in 2016, you issued 10,000 pref shares, so more pref shares. Okay, an additional 10,000 pref shares at 5 Rand 50. Okay, then you've got 30 April 2017, so New Year, same date. Okay, the ordinary share capital increased by 100,000. These shares were issued at 2 Rand 50. Okay, so again, Copy paste value here two rand fifty. This company is not doing so well. Obviously, share price has dropped. Okay, maybe there's a recession. Who knows? Okay, divided by two rand fifty gives you forty thousand ordinary shares. Okay, so um, ordinary shares increased by hundred. Fine. There's the hundred. The price was two rand fifty. They issued forty thousand shares. Forty thousand shares times two rand fifty gives you a hundred thousand. Okay. All right, and then at the end of the year, on December 31st, 2018, there's going to be a capitalization issue. And the issue is two shares. For every five held obviously ordinary okay uh, at three rand fifty a share okay so the question is how much how many shares were already issued by 31st of December. All right, so then you go back and you look at your diagram. Okay, that was authorized, that wasn't issued. This was issued. Okay, this was issued. This was issued. Was anything else? Um, no, that looks like it, eh? Okay, let's just read this. Ordinary share capital, okay, this was the value, okay, at 31st, 30th of June. All right, so obviously, we don't know how many shares we had there. Okay, that was a question mark, but now we do. Okay, 10 plus 50 plus 40 gives you uh, 100,000 shares. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, so um, year to date, or let's just say two dates. 
10 plus 50 plus 40 gives you 100,000 shares issued to date. Okay. So that means how many, how many shares were already issued by the company? Right, we've already answered one of the questions. Calculate the number and value of the ordinary shares issued. Okay, so if I'm calculating the number, copy paste. 100,000 ordinary shares have been issued. And the value of the ordinary shares issued. Okay, the value of the ordinary shares, the value of the ordinary shares would be what they had earlier. Here, 30th of June 2018. There's 30th of June 2018. Okay, so they issued uh, shares at 305,000. Worth 305,000. So each share is worth 305 divided by 100 is 3 rand value per share. All right, so that's option, that's question A. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, so four marks for doing all those workings and calculations. Okay, you have to draw a diagram. The diagram helps so much. I like drawing pictures for a lot of different workings. Okay, for depreciation, for this, for interest, for whatever. Okay, it makes a big difference because you can see what's happening and it makes sense. You can just look at it and it makes sense. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, because they want it. Calculate the number. We've answered that. Calculate the value. We've got that. Okay, of the ordinary shares. Okay, then we need to record the issue of the capitalization issue. So in other words, okay, we're focusing here. All right, so how many shares were already issued by the company? 100,000 shares. Okay, the cap issue amount of shares equals. Okay, so 100,000 shares times how many shares do i get i get two shares divided by five for every five that i hold does it make sense yes okay so we're going to have forty thousand shares cap issue okay so record the capitalization issue all right so copy paste Okay, if you're recording the capitalization issue in your books, how many shares did I issue? Now I know how many shares I issued. Two shares for every five held. I issued 40,000 shares. Each share was valued at 3 rand 50. So 40,000 shares times 3 rand 50 is 140,000. Okay, so my journal entry... General journal entry is debits, retained earnings, credit, ordinary share capital. Okay, the retained earnings will be debited with 140,000 and the ordinary share capital would be credits with 140,000. There we go. Okay, there's the entry. All right, so you needed those workings to do that journal entry. All right, you first had to work out how many shares you issued. All right, and that should have taken you uh, 10 minutes. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. All right, so nice question, bringing in some equity in this particular question. Question four, okay, let's save that.